Well, 94 won the Babes Party Station. It is Babs, my guy, Joey Franchise. Yep. Joey, I was so pissed because Saturday I was out of town mm-hmm. and I missed the vibes at Eden with 310 Baby. I am so glad he is still in the city. What it do? What's up? What's up? So, welcome back to Tampa or have you been here since Saturday? No. Nah, uh, before before this weekend, I was here before just once, though. So. For real? Mm-hmm. Where were you at and what did you do? I was. I did like a club... I did a club out oh, here. Oh, you did do one. I remember yeah. you did come out here. Yeah. Uh, it was out, uh, I think it was by like Nebraska or something like that. What was it? Was it play? play? Club play. Yeah, I think yeah, so. Okay. I think play. so. I mean, I'm not, I don't remember the exact name. I'm not yeah. going to lie. It's so many I do. But yeah, I was out here though before. Yeah, how crazy is it like, you know, I mean, you're, you're still in high school, correct? Yeah. So to be that and just be like performing in these clubs and you see these cats just like get lit. This is like kind of like a weird teaser. You just kind of like see the uh, reality of what alcohol does to people. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, so you're still in high school, but you do online, right? No, I, I go to school. Like, you still? How is like the fam done? Like, can you concentrate? Yeah, at school, then nobody really bothers me. Really? Mm-mm. You must go to like uh, what's that school? All the the kids go to in Calabasas? No, 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 no. These oh. Sierra Canyon. <laughs> yeah, Sierra no. Canyon. Oh, okay. No, no, no. I just thought like it would be hard for you to focus on your work, seeing that you got one of the hottest songs out right now. Mm-mm, nobody really says anything to me like everybody already knew me or even the freshmen will say a little something but nobody's like i'm not being distracted from my education i feel like la like cali in general just kind of sees all these guys on yeah, regular true. like i remember talking to kid inc a long time ago and him just being like going to school with like kardashian sisters or something like that oh, yeah. just like, and it's like nothing because they're all like popping at the same time so the moniker soak city is that what they call la the Soak City, yes. the name of the song. That's mm-hmm. what they call LA? Yeah. I've never heard wait, of Wait, wait, no, no, no. It's a water park. Well, okay. So, so that's where you got the name for the song from. Yeah. And the water park's in LA. Uh, yeah. I lived in LA for a year. Well, Castaic, California, which mm-hmm. is like 30 minutes outside of it. But I don't know when Soak City, is it a new water park? or? Mm, it's been around a while, actually, yeah. But I think it's not like in the heart of LA. Okay. So it might that might be a reason, you don't know. But... You know Knott's, Knott's, Knott's Berry Farm? I do know Knott's Berry Farm. A, that's their water park. Okay, where you, you could take a gift there during Christmas and they'll let you in for free. So for well, I'm I'm old, but when I, I was never... in eighth grade, we took gifts and they let everybody in for free around Christmas. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, didn't, I don't know nothing about that. But, yeah. <laughs> Damn, I feel old. <laughs> but, yeah. Now, you have a viral song, Soak City. What was it like when you saw, saw it like first going up on TikTok? Or mm-hmm. what was that feeling? Um, yeah, so, I mean, everything happened all at one time. It was kind of fast um, throughout the summer and then going into, like, October and around the time the NFL season started. And that's when everything just picked up. CJ Stroud hitting the dance or hitting the squabble, which then they put my song, you know, like, kind of, like, put it against, you know, like, a combo. Like, yeah. that's like a package now. So now Soak City, like, is CJ Stroud hitting the squabble. Okay. And now my song with it. So now that, I mean, I just went up on TikTok and influencers and celebrities started doing it and just helped the momentum. Now, is it crazy that, I mean, you you basically recorded the song on your phone. You did it on the app. Uh, Band Lab. 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 Yeah, Band, Band Lab. Lab. Okay. And to see it doing what it's doing now, all the NFL players embracing it, obviously they're going to probably add it to like Madden next year as a dance. Um, it, it kind of blow your mind a little bit, like some of these guys like embracing your record of something that you just did, just, yo, know, like literally record it on your phone and polished it up. No, yeah, I mean, it, it's crazy. Um, sometimes it doesn't feel real, but it's lit. I mean, you know, I'm not. I don't want to think too much about it, right? Just yeah, keep going. And, living in the moment. Yeah, being grateful. And just keep, you did Pro Bowl. Yeah, did the Pro Bowl. Act. Yeah. It was lit. Hang, I got to hung, hang out with CJ a little bit. Okay. Saw other players, Tyreek Hill, Tua. It was lit. Now the squabble again. I'm a little older. Mm-hmm. Who created that dance? Um, he used to play high school football in LA. His name was Cheetah. So he created the dance. Him and his, well, him and his friends used to do it and stuff. So, yeah, and it just stayed like an L.A. thing. Like, you know how Florida, you guys have, like, certain dances? That's like, yeah, it's like looking. the city boy. Yeah, like yeah. that. That's yeah. like, that was like that. It's just imagine that going, like, everywhere and, like, people in California doing it. That's kind of how the squabble is now. Now, at what point were, was your family, like, because, you know, like, in this industry, your mom and dad and, you know, siblings might not really believe in you until something really blows up. So at what point did your mom and you know your family really be like, okay, you going somewhere with this? Once they once they saw something because the, to go on what you said is like you know like people didn't believe type. Mm-hmm. It's not that my family didn't believe; it's just they didn't know. 
Right. Like, they knew I was making a little something, but not like they didn't know how serious I was because I did so many different things throughout my life. So it's just another thing I did. And once they actually saw something, like, really saw things on the Internet and things that, you know, it wasn't just me sending it to them. It's like they're seeing it or finding it on their own thanks to the algorithm. And it's like, oh, yeah, it is big. But, yeah, it just they really didn't know. I was always quiet. I really didn't play it for anybody. It was just my own, like, little thing. Because I didn't like, uh, like, you know, like, how as an artist you're like sensitive about your art yes so you don't want this you know i don't want people like giving too many opinions because i feel like i had it i don't want too many people's opinions on it so when did you decide to put it out um the song or music in general uh music in general um i started putting music out in, like seventh grade on okay. soundcloud i went to dsps in, like 2020 so that was eighth grade going to ninth and yeah i put it through this show kit and yeah, I got on all the DSPs and people started to listen to it like friends and extended well, people that knew my friends like mutuals and in the city. So I kind of built a little something, a little foundation in the city, but it was just like, you know, cool with this teens. Yeah. But then once I dropped Soak City, it just went stupid. So then, yeah. Yo, uh, you know, and you being in high school, what are you, junior, senior? Senior. Senior right now? Yeah. Hey, how, how does that work with school? Is school like still going on right now in, in Cali? Yeah. And you gotta like get like per, like a sign off to like you know do your runs and stuff like that and do shows or no, anything like how does that work? Because I'm 18, I don't need like a works permit or anything. Okay. So okay. I just it's just me leaving. I'm just responsible for days I miss and work. Is it are, hard you gonna, to, are you gonna make it to prom? Yeah. Uh, potentially. I mean, you know, I'm just trying to figure everything. I'll go one day at a time. Especially now with the music, is so much going on. I don't know where I'll be at in May. Will it be weird if they play your song or is it like, <laughs> I mean, uh, matter to you? As long as they playing it, I don't care. <laughs> Is it hard to keep your grades up? Like, how how do grades look in? Uh, they're cool. Okay. I mean, it's not it's not sweet, you know what I'm saying? Right. But it it's challenges at times, but I got to get it done regardless. I don't, I'm not failing though. That's good. Yeah. So B A's B's. Of course, sometimes it's not gonna always be A's, but I'm not failing though. I've never been. I've always been good in school. Now, is it just me or because I'm from Detroit? Mm-hmm. When I first heard your song, I was like, okay, so he could either be from Detroit or L.A. Because the accents are kind of the same. Like, mm-hmm. Skilla Baby. Like, do you do you get that vibe that the D and Cali have the same type of rap style? Now, what happened is, like, 20, 2020, late 2019, 2020, 2021, we started to, like, L.A., we started to pick up on Detroit's, like, beats and stuff. Because, like, I mean... The original, like, we had, like, an L.A. sound, mm-hmm. I guess, but it, like, it wasn't it no more. And then, like, you know, Rio? Rio, the young OG. Yeah. Uh, oh, yes, 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 yes. So, like, that that was picking up during Corona mm-hmm. to where that's, like, we liked that sound so much to where all of us started using those beats. Some some still don't, but that's what I picked up on, especially with, like, the kids. We like that. Like, all the younger rappers from where I'm from, we rap on Detroit beats. So, um, sonically, like, yeah, that's probably why it sounds like that. I like it, though. We messing with it all over the country. Now, Blueface, how did that come about? Did you did he reach out to you to get on it or was it like a label thing or No, I I, I knew how to like get Blueface like and I reached out to somebody I knew him. Okay. Yeah. The song is lit though. Like we're proud of you. We play it every hour. People oh, yeah. are always requesting it here. Thank you. That's why we had you come through to eat, and I hope you wasn't in there drinking. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, absolutely right, no. Good. We didn't make sure that, that didn't go down like that. But yo, uh, you know, I remember being out like being out here. You know, I, I had my homie Kev. You, you know Kev mm-hmm. um, out in LA. He came down. Uh, he uh, told me he's like, "Yo, are y'all playing this three one zero baby Soak City?" Like, bro. And then we during that thing in the club that same day, mm-hmm. and he came popped up, and yo, it just completely went up. And then a week later, like we're we're on this, we're on the radio with it. So. You know, that was real, that was real dope. No, I appreciate you guys. So, you're a teen. You focused on your craft right now. How are like the girls in the DMs? Are you folk worried about that right now, or just strictly like get into the bag? No, I'm focused on my album dropping on 23rd nights and weekends. It's gonna be my debut album. Um, that's gonna be dope. I have all the singles I've dropped, including Soak City and the ones after that. It's gonna be pretty pretty good album. First album. Is anybody you looking to like collab with, or anybody that uh you you know that's on like a like a wish list? Yeah, I mean, I could say like who I would want to collab. Yeah, with. I don't want to ruin the the no. rollout for the album. You know no, no, I mean? it's nothing. It's nothing to ruin. Uh, so instead of me saying like who I would want to work with, I'll just say who potentially is on the album. So I mean, we got, not potentially, but who is? So I have Duke Deuce. Okay, right? Duke Deuce. I got DDG, Bia. Who else we got? Hmm. 
O3 Greedo. Oh, word. From L.A. And I feel like I'm missing something. But, yeah, like, you know, I get a little bit of everything for somebody. Like, it's not just going to be one sound. It'll be something for everybody. I like the flavor on that. Um, yeah. You know, you all saw, you also worked with, like, a while back, worked with Lil Tyler. He from yeah, Lil around, Tyler. around the way. Oh, yeah, not just from around. Okay, yeah, yeah Lil Tyler. I got Lil Tyler on it. Cash Kid. Wow, yeah, okay. So it's, it's it's pretty diverse. It's going to be flavors in there for sure. Now, is there any celebrity that you were shocked that reached out to you and was like, listen, I'm really like Tiger with your music? Tyga? Nice. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. Yeah, Tiger for sure. Tiger, Tiger is cool. Good dude. How tight is that community? You know what I mean? You got a lot of guys in L.A. that, you know, that got motion out there. So mm-hmm. it's like, to you know, you to pop up and, you know, not just have this record, but, you know, back it up is also fire too the, the Tyler record was crazy too so now that you got you know now you're building up this catalog and you're around a lot of these guys yeah. I mean how's that to like kind of be in that same space as some of these dudes and mm-hmm. like have you picked up any gems has anybody shared any gems with you you know as you you know start to no, evolve getting, in the game I mean a lot of support with my peers in LA other artists um they're all giving me certain advice on what to do or mistakes they made and like specifically on this like records you know like um, willing to like help and give me certain advice to like make better records or to continue to make good records. Yeah. But then like how you said like back it up, like we'll back it up walk. Right now I'm like in my bag when it comes to like club records. Right. Mm-hmm. My songs like they can get played in different places or different clubs because I mean sonically like they sound good in the club. Like back it up is smash like catchy, short. But you can pick it up like even walk. By the time well, the walk hook comes back, the yeah. second one you got it. And then we have Tyler on there to spice it up more. So um, that's good. I'm glad you got Tyler because you know I feel like Florida like needs to feel more of these party records. Yeah. Uh, because I feel like I'm having a good time when I'm hearing these songs and I enjoy playing them because I want to bring back that you know the, the party aspect Foreign club yeah. to the club. I feel yeah. like we're in a you know we still heavy in the trap era, the and, press era, yeah, <laughs> and, and the op music and stuff like that. So to kind of have this is more of a fresh air from, like, a club DJ perspective, uh, yeah. standpoint. No, I, I 100% agree. I mean, that's one thing I... Well, one of the lanes I want to go through is, like, let's continue to make, like, these club records because you got to get played in the club. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's, it's only right. What do you want for your high school graduation present? Um, A, a plaque. That's what's up. That would be lit. So what's next for you this year? What you got in store for us? Mm, just more performances, um, more states, more... Yeah, more states, more cities are going to see me. Um, more content, more more projects, more singles, just more music, just more, more, yeah, more of everything for me. People are going to see me more because, I mean, now I'm going to graduate in June, so people will see my face a lot more, do more interviews. It's a lot, a lot in store. I know people say they stand on business, but you sound like you stand on business for a guy your age. There's a lot of kids that just, you know, right. young guys that will come through and, you know, they'll get – caught up in the game so quick i mean we've seen a few of them you know over time yeah and then you just kind of you know fizzle out and it's like you just seem like you got you know your stuff together yeah no i mean i think yeah you got a good team around you too yeah coming from coming from la i mean you either it's two lanes you take you take i mean the lane of like you're cooked like you're done you know you're burnt out and you just be like that or you take the other route of like the alternative of thinking outside the box and common sense yeah, like you know, make the right decisions, and I I rather make those. Are you gonna go to college? Um, I'm not sure as of right now. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to figure it out. That's what I mean. So like day by day, I'm in one day at a time, and two because right now the application process is ongoing. Copy. Yeah. Oh, that's what's up. Now, do you feel like because you are a successful artist right now, maybe you should get like an NIL deal kind of thing, like the NF, like the like the. the I thought that was only. For, I thought that was only for athletes. I'm saying like, don't you think they should implement like an NIL kind of situation, like where you could sell, you know. 310 merch or 310 baby merch at a at a college. You go to USC or something like that. Oh, I know what you're trying to say. You get what I'm say. saying? Like the way Bronny, like say Bronny's getting a Wendy's deal, and like maybe you and Bronny are doing like Wendy's commercials or something like that. I would also, I mean, I would, that should there should be something like that for artists. I feel like they, yeah. not not saying they, that they there get is, scholarships, but that they should implement something like that at some of these universities. So it with, should be a 310 baby merch merch just for USC or something. Yeah, like say say I, you say you I know what you're trying yeah. to say. So yeah. the, I think that would for sure. That'd be hit. cool. Like if artists like that want to go to school and go to go to the school. I mean, it brings oh, notoriety. Oh, that's what you're like. If yeah. I went to Morehouse or something. Yeah. I mean, I'd do a HBCU like like collab regardless yeah. though. Yeah. 
Um, but that, you know, I'm open to anything like that. But I understand what you're saying. Would yeah. that be the route you would go, HBC? Because that's something I regret because I went to just the regular, you know, school. I, I think, it, I mean, it just depends on where I'm at in life. I mean, what I, what I could say right now and be like, oh, well, I want to go to HBCU for this reason, this reason. At 20, I might not even care no more. Mm-hmm. So I, I think it just depends. Like, I, I don't know. It's, I don't know. I really don't give it too much thought. When it's, when, if it makes sense at that time, then I'll do it. Are you a gamer? Yes. What do you play? Like 2K GTA. Are like, you nice on 2K? Yeah. How nice? Nice. Okay. Like, we, got, we, got, we got to run one. You I play PlayStation or Xbox? PlayStation. For sure. Yeah. I'm not an Xbox guy. I can't get into it. No, I mean, it feels weird. Yeah. It's, the control's weird. Everything weird. I don't like the tower. I mean, even though the PS5 is pretty... Now, yeah, PS5, the, the games are starting to look weirder and weirder. I'm a story game guy. I think PlayStation drops better story games. Than Xbox, yeah, for sure. I would say Xbox. that. They, and then Xbox, they do like weird games. So. But you know what's a, a classic from Xbox? Like Halo? Halo's a classic. classic. I was a Gears of War guy. Mm. So now never, Gears of War is actually coming to PS5. Yeah. Uh, it's weird. With it. it gets weird. I'm just ready for GTA 6. Shout out to you guys for getting a little, you know, the Florida vibe in GTA 6. Yo, we got the love on that. You yeah. saw that? Because oh, yeah. we had LA. We got the dude, that dude, that, that dude with the tattoo, the Joker looking face. Yeah. He, he lives out here. Yeah, yeah. I remember he, he was, tri- anyways. Um, <laughs> yeah, he was tripping on Rockstar. Yeah, he was tripping. Yeah, he was anyway, violent. I mean, hey. They didn't but, pay him? I don't know. He's, don't he's know. trying to get that bag from him, though. Yeah, oh, know. yeah. But, yeah, so, you know, GTA 5, we at LA, we had that little, you know, like the vibe. It's, of yes. course, it's not LA because the game, but... It's, it's going off of L.A. You guys get Florida. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully it's good. Oh, know? that's accurate, too. Like, yeah, they, that stuff really happens. The trailer was crazy, like how they had, like, the alligator in the gas station. Mm. Did yeah. you see the, the where they pit the trailer against the actual stuff that was on, like, TikTok and yeah. things like that? Yeah, Florida, you guys, so it's we, different. We're wild out here. Out here. I'm not from here, so this was like a culture shock. Where are you from? Connecticut. Connecticut? Yeah. I've never met anybody from We're literally, anybody. like, sandwiched between Boston and New York. <laughs> I didn't think Connecticut was real. <laughs> I've never met anybody from Connecticut. Well, it's real. It's a nice little pit stop. That's like that's like Dakota. Like where's Dakota at, bro? Yeah. Like who lives in Dakota? No, where did I go one time? Missoula, Montana. Yeah, like who lives in Montana? Yo, yeah. I went there one time. Like if you don't live in LA, New York, Florida, Texas, and like maybe a little Seattle, but besides that, it's like, bro, where do you live? Sometimes you I live YouTube stuff like I YouTube the hoods of Alaska. And they actually oh, got games before. there. Yeah, I've seen that. Now I'm a, I'm a YouTube Keep it G, the hoods of South Montana, North Dakota. I'm about to Keep it G, though. See, Connecticut see, has helped yeah. break a lot of artists, though. I'm not going to hold that's, that's my city, but it, and it, it, it's, pretty, it's pretty wild out there. But French Montana, French Montana, Max B broke out of Connecticut. Because a lot, and, and Dino knows. And yeah. Dino will tell you the stories. Uh, yeah. They would, they would whenever things got saturated in New York, they all come to Connecticut. Dang. Jada Kiss and, like, the locks, Styles P, and all them, they they are forever good anywhere in Connecticut. They so get Connecticut, shows there they, they like show love, like heavy. heavy. I, gotta go, I gotta go do a little Suck City out there. Take, take through, Connecticut I'll, to I'll, Suck I'll, City. I'll, I know a guy. I'll connect you. We'll get we'll get it in motion. We'll get it in motion for well, sure. Well, every day on my show, I do what the Florida, and I talk about crazy Florida stories. So if you're still here, it's happy in in the four o'clock. Have hour. you witnessed anything weird in your time in Florida, like at all? Have you seen anything wild? Nah, I mean just the energy is different. So I guess that's wild for me, like coming from LA. But like, yeah, I don't, I haven't seen anything where I don't look forward to it. You know what I'm saying? What is the wild? Have you seen? Is there a wild story that you can like think of that you've like seen maybe on like socials and stuff like that? Nah, it's just random stuff here. Y'all be having like random stuff, like not real. Like LA has some weird stuff because it's just Hollywood, whatever. But out here, it's like random. It's like a man called nine one one because they wouldn't let his cat into the strip club with them. <laughs> yeah. Like that. Like that's only Flor- that's Florida. Like, yeah, like it was weird. Or I don't know what it is. Is it the, the weather? Her, her is it the weather, the water? Like it's I, gotta be something. It's something, something man. It's just yeah. the air something. I haven't had a Florida man moment yet. Yeah, I've had one. You've had a few. Yeah, I've had a lot. I caught well when I first moved here, I called nine one one because a hurricane was coming and it was telling everybody to take shelter. Or it was not a hurricane yet, but it was a tornado. So I called nine one one and I asked, like, what do I do? And she's like, uh, pull over i know that i know F- real florida woman but i'm from detroit but that was my florida woman story yeah that's crazy. <laughs> but it's a lot of florida crazy I florida I don't, I don't mess with the hurricanes though i'd rather just do what we got at home a little earthquake really you take the earthquake over because the earthquake ain't nothing because look the thing is once you once you i've never felt it, i've been in la and I, 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 okay was once you and experience I never felt it, it it's just whatever after that's done like it's like real quick unless it's bad but it don't be that bad like I'd rather do a little than a little hurricane, like ruining y'all homes. Like earthquakes, yeah. are, have not, they don't ruin LA homes like that unless it's a big one, and that's every once in a while. Like, 
Do you believe in that San Andreas thing where like California just? I don't got no time. I, I can't even do all that mentally. Like yeah, that's that's like third eye opening right here. Right? <laughs> what, the what? thing is, is like why am I gonna like? I'm trying to like work focus on this and what I got. <laughs> I don't got time to be thinking about that because yeah. I can't. I can't control that regardless. I don't try to think about things I can't control. I do miss LA. I wish I had have stayed out there after eighth grade. My mom begged me to move with her. Moved and then like you back regret to that. I regret that I had to move back. Like that we moved back to Detroit. I wish right. that I had a, went to high school. I feel like stuff would have been different for me. Well, I mean, everything happens for a reason. though. you can't really it think. Does. You can't just think like, oh, well, I wish it. No, because there's a lot of things that if I that I do regret, or like that I would say that, well, I really don't regret too much. But if I would have said that, I wouldn't even be in this chair right now because everything that happened for me had to be like spot on, like stars had to align for me to get in this seat. I'm supposed to be in school right now. Facts. Okay. Yeah. I like that. So me moving back to Detroit is the reason why I'm here talking to you. Yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah, he you just turned up the city. That's why you, yeah, you got to look at stuff like that. You can't regret stuff because at the end of the day, it is what it is. Like, yeah. Just like my manager, did, she told me, like, at the end of the day, it's like sometimes we have to take, you know, make the sacrifices and you don't want to be like, oh, well, I wish I did that. Because regardless, that thing would have still been there. Like, oh, I wish I would have spent more time with that person. But at the end of the day, bro, like, if you would have spent two more hours, you would have still, you would have still felt that same way when it was over. Like, regardless, like, it's like, you just got to keep going, man, day by day, enjoying the experience. I agree. Well, uh, stay you, stay cool, stay dedicated, no drama, no beef. That's what I like about you. If Usher hits the the dance, will you take, like, will the price go up at half, if he does it at halftime? Imagine. I mean, dog is the biggest song, or the, the song and the dance were the biggest thing to happen in the NFL next to Taylor Swift. Now, that would be crazy, huh? Nah, yeah. If Usher did hit it, that would be lit, huh? I feel like that's going to happen. they clip it up. That would be lit. I feel like that can go crazy. Usher need to just bring me out. Usher, yeah, just bring <laughs> you out. This, this give me, not even like, I only got to do the whole song. You know, like the Super Bowl. Well, they Bowl. had you at Pro Bowl. That That is probably a big, that just shows the show that how big of an impact you had on the NFL this season. Yeah. I think if Usher just brought me out, like, and they don't got to do the whole song. Just like, you know, they do big production, like, yeah. and then it's give me like the left, do it, right, this it. And then I sit and just let me walk away. And I just, that'd be it. And I'll be trending on Twitter. Make that happen, manager. We got, who we got to get on the phone with? <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, a basketball fan, is it a LA. Laker? LA. Laker, I, Laker? I'm a Laker Clippers. fan, but I support the Clippers. That's so crazy. Yeah, bro. because it's like, it's like Lakers legendary, you know, LeBron and all that, but the Clippers are still like, I still, that's the thing, I can still, I still enjoy Clipper games. Okay, well, you got the guys to do, to enjoy them, like, you know what I mean? The guys on the court are yeah, like, making it enjoyable. Yeah, like, you got Kawhi, Russ, it's just not beating, like, Bron. But It'll like, never, will it ever be a Clipper town? I don't know. It's just going to be late. Because I think Lakers is attached to Hollywood. Clippers is attached to the streets. Damn. Really? <laughs> I did not know that. Not like, not literally the streets, but I'm saying it's the urban. Right. Yeah. And the Lakers suburban. Mm-hmm. You gotta it, just look, but you got to look at the marketing. Like even the Lakers, I mean the Clippers, like their marketing, their branding, mm-hmm. it's like real like urban. Like their their city jersey has like a like a more urban font. Lakers is more stars and lights. So you got to just, you know, just look at the marketing. That's a good way to put it. Uh, and they're in Inglewood. Well, they will be. Yeah, they will be, yeah. So, all right. I, I just needed to get that. I'm a Laker fan, so. Yes, sir. Lakers all the way. All the way. We need so we got this work to do. You know what I'm saying? Oh, As a Lakers fan, it's always work to do. Like it's never just like you satisfied. Know what? And it's crazy because I'm well, I'm a Patriots. I, it, I'm all over the place because I'm from New England, so I'm a Patriot guy. Yeah. Uh, Lakers, and then because because Kobe, I, I I started liking Lake. I was a Grant Hill fan. Grown, coming up, I'm 37, so I, Grant Hill was you know, was that dude. He was that dude in Duke <laughs> and in At Detroit the, the Pistons and Detroit. Yeah. And then uh, after his, you know, ankle went, I was like, you know what? Shaq left the Lakers. Kobe's out here. Let's see what he could do. I'm going to rock with the Lakers, start watching those games, and bong. Yeah. Just like that. And then the Yankees, too. There's, the Yankees is always a lot of work, too. Yeah. So it is what it is. But, yeah, 310, baby, appreciate you pulling up, man. No, You're you. a great guy to talk to, man. Thank you. I appreciate you both. Appreciate you coming to the city, and uh, good luck going, you know, going Thank the you. distance, bro. Thank you. Let's ch- hopefully, this, uh, hopefully I'll see you on the Super Bowl this weekend. Man, Hopefully, Usher can call you last minute. <laughs> sure. Say, hey, you mind if I hit this dance real quick with you? Imagine. Dunzo. All right, it's Wild 941.